welcome to this video on plant tissue culture part 3 this is dr jayaram reddy professor st joseph's college bangalore You can see the growth of the callus as well as the explants. Here you have the plants fully grown ready for transplantation. Here the plants are there in the community pots which are ready for transplantation the last stage called acclimatization. The fundamental principle of plant tissue culture is totipotency. You can see on your right hand side Haberland. He is the father of plant tissue culture who laid the foundation for plant tissue culture, a brief history of plant tissue culture, the major milestones. These four people are very important in plant tissue culture. At the bottom we have Murashige and Skoog. Left hand side we have White who first successfully cultured the plant on the Newton media. Right hand side we have Morel who revolutionized plant tissue culture. Flow chart of plant tissue culture from step number 1 to step number 11. Applications of plant tissue culture. Two are very important. One is clonal propagation that is large scale multiplication of plants on the Newton media. Second one is biotransformation, genetic transformation. Types of plant tissue culture based on the Explant that we use. You can either use intact plant or protoplast. The crucial point in pro, uh, plant tissue culture is the ratio of auxins and cytokinins. The lab space. You can design this as you want and as the availability of space in your lab. Inoculation chamber is the fulcrum of plant tissue culture where all the activities occur your inoculation is occurring one of the important uh, aspect of this laminar airflow is HEPA filter we have the steri pot and other instruments that are normally used in plant tissue culture bacterial filters to filter especially the growth regulators which are not added to the media which are filtered later and added steri pot for uh, sterilizing your equipments electric balance which is very important for weighing the chemicals exactly electronic balance magnetic stirrer for uh, mixing the uh, undissolved chemicals autoclave is very important in plant tissue culture because here we are sterilizing the medium at high temperature of 121 degree centigrade and high pressure of 15 pounds you have, we have to take care of the autoclave it is almost like your uh, pressure cooker at home but it has to be taken care properly so shakers are used in cell culture and suspension culture where the cultures are grown on liquid medium various types of uh, shakers atmosphere of the growth room we require light meter and humidity meter because we have to maintain a constant light and constant humidity the nutrient media there are several thousand medias available in literature you can modify them as you like these are the main components of the growth media agar agar is used for solid media 
the constraints of the ms medium plant growth regulators are very important here different types of them are used auxins and cytokines are the main ones here which control the growth and development of explants in vitro the cytokine in tz tdz is very good it gives very good results but at low concentrations Gibberellic acid and abscisic acid are very rarely used, especially used during uh, the production of uh, callus from the seeds. Surface sterilization is an important step in plant tissue culture. There are so many chemicals that are normally used. Mercury chloride is used usually at 0.1 to 0.2 percent to kill these bacteria on the surface of the explants. Methods of st seed sterilization. inoculation where the explant is being transferred on to the medium on an amylar air flow different types of callus green callus is very important green friable callus is the one which is morphogenetic so here you can see the different steps of uh, shoot tip culture on the nutrient media left hand side you are seeing only callus growth right hand side you see the growth of the roots this is controlled by the levels of auxins and cytokines it's called paper bridge method for rooting different stages of micropropagation of river birch leaf disc culture culture of the leaf which is a part of organ culture effect of auxins on the growth of explants in vitro effect of the concentration of cytokines and auxins that plays a very important role in the morphogenesis in vitro you can see there at a particular concentration only growth of both root and shoot occurs thank you very much for watching this video please give your feedbacks please give your suggestions so that i can improve upon my work i also thank all the resources from where i collected all this information and prepared this video video for the students of my class thank you very much press the like button subscribe to my channel thank you very much